What is up guys? Welcome to another LEGO review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the D2C Microscale Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle. Now, I love the Harry Potter theme from LEGO. I think a lot of the sets look great and a lot of the minifigures are spectacular. I own a lot of the original series of collectible minifigures. Um, and I have the Hogwarts chess set in my display down here. You can't really see it. Uh, but this is my first D2C set on the channel, and this is also my first D2C set that I own. Uh, I have a second D2C set that I cannot wait to review. Um, you, you can see a little bit of it right there. But we also have a new setup now uh, for reviewing things. We have the review table, which is right next to me, right here. But we also have this corner where I get to have other stuff. So we have the box of every item that I will be reviewing from here on for the rest of the year or until I decide to change it up again, and then the item in question that we are reviewing now. Let's take a look to the review table, take a look at the box, take a look at the instructions, and then start looking at the minifigures. And here we are at the review table, taking a look at the box for the Hogwarts Castle. Now here you can see it's ages 16 and up, set number 71043, the Hogwarts Castle. It is 620 pieces, and when you're building it, it feels that way. Um, you can see the exclusive minifigures of Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Salazar Slytherin, and Rowena Ravenclaw. All of these are exclusive to this set and cannot be found anywhere else. You can see a nice image of the Hogwarts castle missing a couple of the details that are also included in the set. Taking a look at the top, you can see the set number, the theme, the size of the set, and it's massive, um, not just in piece count, but in actual structure. You got a nice image of the Hogwarts castle from Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone, depending on where you're from. I live in America, so I call it Sorcerer's Stone. Sorry. Uh, you got some of the micro figures here. It comes with five Dementors. Yes, five. Uh, you got some pieces for the chessboard and a trophy of some kind on this side of the box. You can see it, all of the minifigures in closer detail on their stands. Uh, Lego Harry Potter, the same thing, and uh, same image as the front of the box, as well as an advertisement for Lego.com. On this side of the box includes the other things that are missing from the front of the box, as in Hagrid's hut with Aragog, and the Whomping Willow, but the Flying Anglica is in the main uh, picture, and as well as the boxes and the figure names on that side. And you may hear rattling around in here, and that's because I have more than just one box in here, and that's because I have a problem. Uh, and then on the back, you can see all the features of this set, as in the potions classroom, the room of requirement, the uh, Whomping Willow, and the Hagrid's Hut. We've got the Gryffindor common room, the Mirror of Irised store place at the end of the Sorcerer's Stone. The uh, live chess room, uh, which is not to scale with the micro figures, but even though this is a micro scale set. The flying key room, you got the uh, transfiguration classroom, the chamber of secrets, the great hall, uh, the libraries, uh, rotating staircases, you get two of them, Umbridge's office, the bathrooms for both the women and the men, and Dumbledore's office, and a back look at all of the features in this set. Now, I don't think anything is on the bottom other than warnings and labels and, you know, barcodes and stuff like that. So, let's get away from the box and take a closer look at the minifigures. And here we have Godric Gryffindor, and it's a very nice minifigure. Uh, very good printing for the robes uh, and some nice printing on the legs, actually. Um, the sword is now outdated due to the Grip Hook minifigure from the Lego minifigure series 2 of Harry Potter. So when I get that piece, I will eventually swap that out, um, for display purposes. Uh, he does have an alternative facial expression, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, he does not. I do not remember correctly. Uh, but he also does come with a, uh, dark brown wand on the back he does have some, uh, pretty good, uh, just basic back printing. Uh, I love the fabric they use for the cape. They went back to their original cape fabric, um, 
for the Hogwarts founders and that makes me very happy because I prefer their original cape fabric in my opinion. I just I just think it's better and um, the face print is nice underneath the beard. I don't want to take the beard off because that's a lot. All I can say is a very nice minifigure. Just wish they'd come up with that sword piece a little bit earlier. And here we have our second Hogwarts founder, Helga Hufflepuff. And she does come with a darker brown wand, almost black-ish. And her uh, Horcrux piece. Now, she has some nice printing on her torso and the leg, or er, er, her dress, uh, rather. Um, uh, she has the same cape as Godfrey Gryffindor. Uh, she has an extensive amount of back printing, both on her torso and her skirt piece, which is very nice and very cool to see. Um, uh, and she also does have an alternative facial expression with this um, hairpiece in brown. Uh, I don't know what hairpiece this is, but uh, I know that she had a second uh, facial expression because this face has been used for Molly Weasley uh, a lot in this uh, line. Uh, also, her hairpiece has a hole for like a bow or something, so. This is the first time I've ever seen this hairpiece. I think it's a Leia hairpiece is where this originates from, but yep, that is Helga Hufflepuff. And here we have Salazar Slytherin. And this figure is very nice. He comes with a black cape, same fabric that uh, Helga and Griff uh, Godric use, uh, as well as a little piece right here for the top of the cape. Now he does have some nice printing on his legs and his torso with the Slytherin locket printed on there under the Sensei Wu beard piece, which is not used very often, I must say, and I don't want to take it off because, well, it was a bitch to get on in the first place. Anyway, that's not the point. Uh, also, I swore in a Lego video. I'm sorry. Uh, it He does come with a tan wand and no facial expression on the back of the head because, you know, he's bald. That'd be kind of weird. So there's Sal Salazar Slytherin, my bad. And I, I personally... I think he's probably my second favorite minifigure. Uh, I think Helga is my least, or no, Godric's my least favorite, Helga's my third, and then Salazar is my second. And if Salazar is my second, my favorite is Rowena. Oh my god, the detail on this figure is astounding. She does have the Ravenclaw diadem printed on her forehead, and there is a alternative facial expression, also with the diadem printed. Wow, Lego, I never thought you would ever do something like that. That is amazing. I appreciate you for it. You are awesome. Anyway, she does come with a black wand with some nice printing for her torso and skirt piece. Same on the back. She does come with some printing on her torso and skirt piece. The only thing I can say that I do not like about this minifigure is the chest and how it is pale because it is dark blue printed on to some, uh, or light printed onto some dark blue. But other than that, this figure is great. And let's take a look at the stand that all of these guys come on. And here we have the stand for all four of the Hogwarts founders in their proper positions. Now, my one problem with this whole thing and it's mostly like an entire like set problem is the stickers i don't like stickers i wish sets would stop using stickers i wish lego would just print them but i get it's more cost effective so it's understandable now my biggest problem is comes in this area of expertise is these all four hogwarts tiles are stickers now in retrospect, it's frustrating because the advent calendar, the first one, I believe, had all of these tiles, but they were printed. My frustration comes in because they have those tiles now. They could just give us those tiles, but they still have those sticker pieces, and that's frustrating to me, but this is already 
a 400 set and, and now it's more expensive because of the price hike but i got it before the price hike and i spent 422 dollars on it that's frustrating that you got all these nice minifigures of spectacular looking set but these are all stickers like you have the pieces and with the price hike make it a little bit more worth the people's while to buy it because i'll tell you if i'd known that these were stickers before i bought the set and it was a price hike and i knew it was incoming i would have just not gotten it i'm not gonna lie that's just a thing for me personally but because of the price hike i feel like lego should be using those printed tiles now but with that being said let's get into those micro builds because i don't care about the micro figures you all saw them on the box you couldn't really see these on the box, so that's why I wanted to take a closer look at them, and also because the minifigures matter more to me. But let's get into those micro builds and see you when we get to the actual set. And here we have Hagrid's hut in micro scale form. Now, you may be saying, this is a nice build, and it is. You got some pumpkins right here, you got the small little cottage, the bigger cottage, and then the smokestack with a bar piece. I'm not sure why. And then you have Aragog. It's a nice use of uh, tiles and bits and pieces that you get a lot of extras of. Um, I believe that you could count this as the chopping block for Buckbeak. Would have been nice to get a mini brick built Buckbeak, but no, no cigar on that one. But as you can see, the inside is just a little cylinder in the in the main build of it all and that's okay this one has that as well um it's just an overall nice little micro build uh that complements the hogwarts castle really well and here we have the whomping willow and the flying ford anglica right here on the display stand on the display table or not display table the review table and taking a look just at the ford anglica really quickly it's just a uh baby blue one by two jumper plate with a uh one by one transparent um like brick stud kind of thing and a white tile on top with a roller skate piece on the bottom now taking a look at the actual whomping willow however uh it does spin around very nice i wish that there were an option to have a uh, green on the limbs so that it was more alive but i get that this is more of a Prisoner of Azkaban and Winter look as opposed to the Chamber of Secrets look. Um, the one unfortunate thing that I uh, see about it is the uh, tan axle piece just hanging there in the middle. It kind of sucks that that's there, but it's whatever. What can you do about it? Um, and then you also have the entrance to the Shrieking Shack uh, at the front, so... I really enjoy this aspect of the build. I think it was very fun and very great to uh, see come together. And here we have the boats that lead to Hogwarts Castle. Now, these are nice little builds. They're just um, these. Uh, I don't even know what the piece is called technically, but you got some bars that lead into some transparent uh, stud with studs with holes that have lanterns on top and a cheese slope with the windowscape piece as the exterior of the boat and i think that's a really nice touch and um oh, oh you do get five of these included in this set and you can put the micro figures in here they just go in that centerpiece so that they fit in and that's really all there is to say about that hey guys what's up i just wanted to let you know that this video is going to be a two-parter i was not planning on that but this video was when i finished it and i finished editing it was 38 minutes long so it's just an unfortunate side effect of uh space on my phone and not having a computer to airdrop it all onto um but rest assured one day all of these videos will be uh edited together and you guys will have a complete Hogwarts Castle review, but for the time being, it's just going to be a two-parter. 
uh, the first part being the minifigures and the micro builds, and then the next part, which I hope will more people will watch, will be all of the sets. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.